Yes. Hello. This Hello. is the wine we're doing today. Domaine Julien. Is it on? Domaine Gerard Julien et Julien. Fille. Julien. Julien. Alex Corton Les Valosier. Yeah. 2018. Now, first of all, I like this label. We need more retro labels with the sort of ripped look around the edge. I just, I like... Um, Where's that sort of... Uh, is that a glass or is that a cup or is that a bowl? Uh, I have no idea what that is. It's a sort of bowl type thing. Which, which, happens, uh, which appears a lot in, 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 in Burgundy, on Burgundy labels. Yeah. So, but anyway, I like the retro-y sort of label. I think it's really... I, you know, we don't need them all like that. But we need more like that. So, you know, that immediately appeals. Right, so Domaine Julien, mm. um, they again it's another it's, it's another this kind of uh, this kind of producer that that sort of improved their crafts over the years and then just giving more and more uh, quality. And Alan Meadows, uh, so I was uh, as I was doing research for for this guy, is that Alan Meadows really really liked this one. And he's his comment is that whatever levels you know from Bourgogne Rouge to Village to Premier Cru uh, Domaine Julien's wine always gives that sort of pleasure and whether it's from tasting from right next to the barrels or tasting you know in the restaurant or in a corporate tasting they always give that sort of pleasure um, and then and then yeah there's not much to say than that this has uh, a lovely bright but really sort of serenely pretty nose it's got this it's got the fruit there but it's it's not sort of going we're raspberries it's going i'd like to invite you to the experience of raspberries yeah. and then and then as you put it in your mouth again you get that it's it's almost sort of it's like a very english gent it's sort of like excuse me yeah like i was the same would you like to pass this way yeah you know it's that sort of thing yeah i was um, actually just about to say so i, I hate to no, no we all hate to use the word masculine or feminine to describe a wine but this does give a bit of that masculine edge to it you have compared it's to gentlemen yeah compared to the um some other burgundies like you have like fresh strawberries you know that but this one have a a more pronounced uh, sort of oak flavors, like a cigar box, or it's 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 chunkier. I mean, I, you know, yeah. I, I the the wine trade. This is this is the thing is that the wine trade does tend to use a lot of masculine and feminine terms, and I don't like using them. Um, uh, you know, masculine wines are always big and gutsy, and feminine are always elegant yeah, and dainty, and th and that's not the case. You know, because this is this is a perfect example that disproves that mm -hmm. in the fact that it has weight, it's got power, it's got depth, which would normally have traditionally been masculine wine, but it's really sort of it's also really delicate. Yeah. So you can't, this is why you can't I use mean, these terms anymore. English it, gentleman wine. It's, this is just, uh, I mean, there, there is, I mean, it, you know, it's, it's that sort of like, you know, uh, just w courteous sort and of polite and, 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 you know, just, would you care to, you know, we'd like to invite you to yeah. a phenomenal wine experience. And that's what this is. It's, yeah. it's, it's a phenomenal wine it's experience. Such, such a good use of oak. I think it was, for this one, it was 60% of New York, but yeah. you don't get that harsh, harsh burnt uh, sort of log. Um, mm. this, uh, sorry for, uh, for the uh, phone. Yeah, um, yeah. Exactly. We're actually recording these early in the morning, way before we're actually so open. 60 sixty percent new. Yeah. What yeah. a day! What, what a great way to start. I know. I know. It's it. This 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 is very very enticing. Very very polite. Very very gentlemanly. Yeah. Um, and it's just a, a, a well, <laughs> and it's just a, a, a beautiful, beautiful expression of yeah. Pinot Noir. Uh, anyway, Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, give this a shot, and um, yeah, we like it a lot. It's Bye. very good.